Relational database data is structured into tables, which is a collection of data placed in columns and rows, which looks similar to an Excel table. And tables must have at least one column and row, otherwise it's called an empty table. There's columns, which is a set of values that are the same type, and each column has a unique name. You can't have two name columns in the same database table. Then there's rows, which is a set of values across the column, one value for each column, like name, age, weight, and so on for a person table. And cell is just one data value or a single column of a single row. Each column also has a data type that defines the type of data that can be stored in each row within the column. For example, integers, text, or floating point numbers. In addition to a name, each column has a data type which defines the format of the values that it could store. When the table is created using SQL, that is when you specify the column names and the data types. The DBA is, or database administrator is capable of changing a table's column names or data type, but this is rare and they don't usually do that often. So you definitely need a good database design to not have to change table column names or data types in the future. However, database users have the ability to add, delete, and update the data that's in the rows of the tables. And we'll see examples of how to create tables and how to specify the columns and add rows to them in future videos.